And then, the final segment, they bring in Max Kellerman over this pound for pound list. And the top five pound for pound. Now, of course, this is mythical, but Max Kellerman comes over here look like a boy who just found his, a new toy for Christmas. He comes on the show, he's all bright eyed and bushy tailed, and he's, oh well, pound for pound is not based on merely on a list of accomplishments. It's the best fighter, no matter what the weight class is, at that moment. So, okay, a guest on June something, whatever today is, June 30th of 2013, the greatest fighter at this moment, he agrees, is Floyd Mayweather. So, if that's pound for pound, why do you have anybody else behind him? There's a number two pound for pound, which means that they're not, they're not the, they don't fit your criteria. They're not the best fighter in the world at that moment because you have someone else in front of them. So that person who's number one is the greatest fighter at that moment. So that's one fighter. That's one mistake he made. Two, his list of criteria. He says it's not basically mere on accomplishments alone, but his list of Andre Ward being number two, um, he put he blasts the fact that Marquez could be number three, based on the fact that Marquez struggled with Juan Diaz and Michael Cassidis, a Michael Cassidis who was young and only lost one fight at the time, who was fighting his brother, who was fighting inspired by his brother, and yet Marquez got the victory and came back and stopped a younger fighter. And who was in his prime, then beat Juan Diaz, who was truly the best lightweight in the world at one point? Is Max Kellerman, like, serious? You know, just to justify that he wants to put Guillermo Rigondeaux at number three because he beats Nonito Dunyan. Guillermo Regendahl being number three on the pound for pound list is the most retardedest thing I've ever heard in my life. And then he comes around to justify it because he knows it's retarded and stupid. He brings up his amateur record. First of all, you, you, if you're going to try to justify Guillermo Regendahl being number three pound for pound, you don't bring up an amateur record. That has nothing to do with what he's doing as professional. And if this guy even had 20 fights yet, who is he fought that was top 10 besides Donier? Just because you beat No Needle Donier does not make you No Needle Donier. If that's the case, Canelo Alvarez, if he beats Floyd Mayweather, Canelo's pound for pound. The best fighter in the world is Canelo Alvarez if he beats Floyd. If, if that's if that's the that's the criteria that they set with his presidents, that whoever beats that person, they immediately takes their status or status or whatever you want to call it. That according to Max Kellerman's BS that he's trying to shovel down your throat, that he don't follow himself because if that's the truth, why would if Floyd lose, they talking about bumping Andre Ward to number two to number one spot? You see. You see how the BS don't fit their own agenda, but they want to shove it down your throat? That's why you can't listen to these stupid shows that come on HBO and that's trying to blind you and guide you to their show. And then in the final end, they want to take a shot at Showtime in the Adrian Bronner fight because of the fact that it, it succeeded. Now, Showtime, Golden Boy Promotions had nothing to do with Jessica Adrian Bronner thing with Jessica they didn't even promote it so the fact that they saying that Golden Boy allowed it it wasn't mentioned in any of the of the uh, 
the Showtime set up like their shows when they document the fighters. That was not mentioned. Only time they brought it up that was the fighters themselves, which is Adrian Bronner. Paulie Malignaggi addressed it with the boxing media who brought that garbage to light. Not HB, I mean, not Showtime, not Golden Boy. So to say that they condoned it is a lie because they did not. They did not promote it. They did not do anything to say anything about this woman. Golden Boy Promotions didn't want to go down that route. They wanted to keep it clean and just keep it about the fight itself. And the fighters chose to argue about that. That was their own personal thing and they wanted to say what they wanted to say. Actually, Richard Schaefer and them told him, hey, let's drop it, let's not promote it. Actually, um, another person decided to drop it as well. Like, a couple of boxing websites didn't want to go down that road. Like, I didn't want to go down that road. And neither did the boxing channel. They didn't want to entertain that garbage either. But, you know, it was what it was. Some people did what they did for hits or whatever. But it was not the major distributors of the show. Though they want to make you believe that it is. And try to throw dirt on Showtime. Because they got Adrian Bronner. It was your fault that this even happened. Your company's fault. They took away your stars. And now y'all got to y'all gotta deal with fighters. Names y'all can't even pronounce. But to put Riggin down over Marquez is retarded. Marquez knocked out Pacquiao. He doesn't, and, and Regan now is supposed to jump ahead of him. Look what Marquez has done. This is what I'm keep telling y'all. All this pound for pound garbage, y'all make these lists and put these new flash in the pants dudes up there. It's retarded. And they haven't done anything yet. I don't know, man. 